Hello there. In this video, we are going to talk about WD Easy Store hard drive, the printed circuit board repair, and the disk glitter recovery. Part 1 Printed Circuit Board Repair How the hard drive PCB works in the computer. The data is stored in the hard drive. The computer accesses the data through the hard drive printed circuit board. Three common methods to fix a hard drive printed circuit board. 1. Clean the contacts. 2. Swap the printed circuit board. 3. Repair the printed circuit board. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. Method 2. The printed circuit board swap. PCB board swap step 1. Find out the correct donor PCB board. Locate the hard drive model number on the front of the hard drive label. Locate the hard drive PCB board number. Different brand name, different PCB board. The PCB board numbers are different. You may go to hdd-parts.com to check out other brand name PCB board numbers. After find out the hard drive model number and the hard drive PCB board number, we use them as a reference to search for the correct donor board. We found the correct donor PCB board for the hard drive, but this is only the first step. The next step is we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer to make the donor board work on the original hard drive. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. What is the hard drive printed circuit board from a transfer and why? 1. One hard drive printed circuit board includes two parts, hardware and firmware. Hardware means the components and the printed circuit board. Firmware, also called BIOS, are the data inside of the chip. 2. The firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So, we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then, the donor board can work on the original hard drive. We call this as hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. Three things regarding the hard drive printed circuit board firmware transfer. 1. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrading. The printed circuit board firmware transfer is to transfer the printed circuit board firmware from one board to another board. 2. Hard drive firmware upgrading is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware. It has nothing to do with another hard drive or another printed circuit board. 3. We can do the printed circuit board firmware transfer from the physically damaged printed circuit board, like burned, watered, or even other kinds of damages. Our 
printed circuit board from a transfer success rate is more than 95%. We do the printed circuit board firmware transfer for our clients for free. What will happen if we do not transfer the printed circuit board firmware? For this model hard drive, if we put the donor board onto the hard drive without doing the printed circuit board firmware transfer, the hard drive will spin, but the computer will not detect the hard drive. We received many questions regarding the hard drive PCB firmware transfer and hard drive PCB compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. The hard drive PCB firmware is also called hard drive PCB BIOS. Some PCB firmware are in the independent memory chip like picked one shows. The memory chip may be one or two. Some PCB firmware are integrated into the main IC, like a picture two shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCBs need to do the PCB firmware transfer before swapping the PCB. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware. The picture 3 shows some of these boards. But there are some hard drive PCBs do not need the PCB firmware transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the board directly. The picture 4 shows some of these boards. How can we help you to find the donor PCB? 1. Use your cell phone to take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB. 2. Email the pictures to hddparts at gmail.com or text the pictures to 604-762. 6359. You will receive the donor PCB information as soon as we can. This picture shows how the clients ship their PCBs to us. 1. Make a cardboard folder. 2. Tape the PCB to the cardboard folder. 3. Write down your order number, email address, phone number and the shipping address on the cardboard folder. 4. Insert the cardboard folder into a bubble mailer. 5. Seal the bubble mailer seal firmly. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. 2. We fix the PCB board. 3. We ship back the PCB board to the clients. Method 1. Clean the contacts. Clean the contacts on the PCB board and also on the hard drive can fix the problem caused by the poor connection between the PCB board and the hard drive. PCB board repair method 2. This picture shows the basic components on the PCB board and their functions. You may take this picture as a reference to fix your own PCB board. This picture shows some regular components on the printed circuit board. This picture shows the hard drive circuit board schematic diagram for repairing purpose. Breaking the port connector is very common in portable hard drives. Because the connector is soldered on the very thin PCB board, this is the most fragile part of a portable hard drive. One side of the connector is a heavy hard drive, 
relatively to the thin PCB board. On the side is a fixed computer. The connector is like a fragile bridge in between. And also, every time when you use the portable hard drive, you need to plug and unplug the portable hard drive. Sometimes the power connector is broken, but most of the time is the USB port is broken, and most likely the broken part is the thin PCB board, which is inside of a portable hard drive. This picture shows the common methods to fix a broken USB connector. Method 1. Swap the printed circuit board. Technical level, easy. Requirement, the donor board. Method 2. Use the SMD rework station to fix the broken USB connector. Technical level, medium. Requirement, 1. Donor board, 2. SMD rework station. How to fix a hard drive motor IC problem? 1. The bad motor IC problem symptom. The hard drive does not spin. There are many reasons to cause a hard drive to stop spinning. The bad motor IC is one of them. The bad motor IC may or may not have the burned mark on it. 2. Remove the bad motor IC. 3. Replace the bad motor IC with the new one. Part 2. Disk Data Recovery There are some simple ways to recover data from a hard drive. One of them is try to read the hard drive by different devices, like different external hard drive adapters, computers, or enclosures. Because different devices use different ways to read a hard drive, sometimes this trick works. Another way is swapping the hardware PCB board. Swapping the hardware PCB board can fix the problem caused by the PCB board. There is a cost in swapping the PCB board, but it is way cheaper than sending the hard drive to a data recovery firm. Overheat is a common problem of hard drive PCB boards. Solutions 1. Cool down the hard drive by fan or other cooling devices. 2. Replace or fix the PCB board. This picture shows the two main contributors to the overheat. This picture shows how to use a fan to cool down the hard drive. This picture shows how to cool down the overheat chips which are under the PCB board. How do we cool down the heat contributor IC from the outside? Step 1. Heat transfer pad preparation. Peel off the protection sheet from both sides of the heat transfer pad like the picture 1 shows. Step 2. Prepare a heat sink like the picture 2 shows. Step 3. Put the heat transfer pad onto the heat sink like the picture 3 shows. Step 4. Put the heat sink to the heat contributor IC area on the PCB like the picture 4 shows. Disk firmware corruption symptom the hard drive spins fine but the computer cannot see the hard drive and even the software based data recovery tools cannot see the hard drive as well. Possible reason disk firmware corruption recommendation try disk firmware repair tools like PC three thousand or others. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk firmware corruption. It sounds like 
a good hard drive, but the computer cannot detect hard drive. Disk assembly physical damage problem. Symptom: the hard drive makes clicking, buzz, or other weird sound. The hard drive is not accessible by any computer. Possible reason: disk assembly physically damaged. Recommendation: try class 100 clean room disk assembly repairing. Do not open the hard drive in any open area like home or office. The following is the sound from one of the hard drive which experienced disk assembly physical damage. <coughs> Common disk assembly problems. The hard drive disk assembly could be damaged by shocking, overheat, power surge, and many other reasons. The common symptoms of disk assembly problems are 1. The hard drive makes clicking, buzzy, or any other weird sound. 2. The hard drive does not spin. 3. The hard drive spins, but not detectable. 4. The hard drive is detectable, but with wrong size and not accessible. This picture shows the procedure how we do data recovery for our clients. First, the client send their hard drive to us. Second, we do data recovery. Third, we ship back the data to our clients. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.